This is my uh, Sunset Monopora. It's a real colorful variety. This is, of course, this with the royal blue attenic lighting on. But I wanted to capture this. Um, I want to put these fuzzy looking filaments out. I believe they're men menstrual. Not menstrual. Some kind of filaments that they put out to help uh, increase their digest the surface area, capture food, or sometimes I put it out when they're attacking things for um, space. I know over here where it's been attacking my uh, millipora, acropora millipora, there was a big blob of that stuff right here. Uh, looked like a big ball of cotton. Um, the monopora died away. And the millipora actually survived it, but then after a few weeks you can see how the monopora has grown this stub up and killed off the melopora behind above it and I imagine eventually you can crust off to cut that off eventually if I want to save my melopora but it's slow enough I'll keep an eye on it for now but I just really I just started noticing these filaments I've seen them on acropora quite a bit and you know on several other coral types um, don't see it on this species of Monopora too often, but at least I haven't. You can see several nodules of it, um, you know, kind of centered there. I'll lose focus if I try to zoom in too much. Some there, some there, a couple, couple more patches of it here and there. Um, again, very colorful coral. Typically, it's just orange with. Um, Zoom out a little bit here with uh, green, kind of like this. Um, mine happens to get some purple base when the green polyps are pulled in, as you can see here. And uh, also underneath the lighting, um, some yellow polyps. So, really, it's kind of a quad color. You know, even though it's a sunset monopora, it's got the orange base, the purple base, the green polyps, and yellow polyps. So, like I said, it's very colorful. It's a huge coral, as you can see, growing. It's probably about 12 inches from front to back. Uh, it actually started, this is actually the original plug it started on. Um, I guess it's a regrowth of the original frag. This was in my 300 gallon tank way back when, and um, I had lost everything in that except for this one rock. It was in a fish store and it was not even in the light for several months and when I got it back it was just a browned out coral. So from a standpoint of taking a coral that had been browned out to, to this one, um, quite pleasing to the eye. Some interesting depth perception shots there. You can see kind of three tiers. Kind of an alien world looking thing. You almost expect to see some little critters crawling across the top. I get some different corals in there. Kind of an interesting shot. It's also growing down vertically, kind of below the light, fringing on the bottom of this here, and then crowding out, as you can see back here, some uh, zoanthids. And I'll have to break those plates out. That they're just kind of suspended out there, or else they'll grow over these zoan. These are those candy apple red zoanthids that people prize. Um, but that gives me an opportunity to frag the coral. Um, and there's a big bird's nest colony here next to it, as you can see. But try to get the whole thing. You can see it's probably about 12 by 12 now. I'll zoom in on some more polyps here. Alright.